Hello everyone and welcome back to La Casa de la Tierra. Today hopefully in an episode which is not cut and today surprise surprise to the last episode of this franchise mode. It might be a little bit of a surprise now because last episode was a bit unfortunate cut uh, in there and before we actually start building today let me quickly tell you why and what is going to happen. Let's therefore also just chill for a second here in the Rhino Habitat um, so that we have a little glimpse of this habitat. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, I'm just gonna pull my microphone a little bit closer to me. The reason why I'm doing this is that this zoo became a little bit cramped, a little bit performance-wise and not too good. And honestly, I'm also running a little bit out of ideas and uh, drive for this zoo. I think we, we did basically everything we could. Um, there are some animals that, you know, um, do not really fit the zoo. There are some animals that really I think they're too boring to even bring in here and there are surely some exhibit animals we haven't done but that's mainly about it. We've researched a whole bunch of stuff, we've tested multiple habitat ideas in this setting and I'm also a little bit sad and um, kind of tired of the uh, tropical setting. So therefore we're going to start something new which I'm going to talk about at the end of today's episode. Um, and so stick with me and I hope that I don't have to cut this this time. If I do have to cut it I will kind of record it afterwards and cut it in but I'm quite sure that this will work. But now for today we are going to bring in the last animal which is the Indian elephant which is going to be sitting over here and therefore we are going to build a little bit of a different kind of style today uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good um, we are going to start first of all building a little raised platform where the guest can have a look um, I definitely want to use the uh, wood for it and I'm gonna keep it very simple to be honest um, mainly because I really think that we came to a point where the zoo can finally end um, and therefore I'm I'm also willing to do something about this also we are going to pause the game quickly uh, just to make sure that I don't really run into some severe issues regarding uh, yeah inbreeding and stuff as you can see but also lighting wise um, because I you know I hate this if, if there is no no summer time or what not going on um, so uh, or sunlight I should say uh, this is really what you know bugs me the most uh, and I think I'm gonna just change this pathway over here into into the actual one we need okay that's not gonna work here um, can I just Change the, oh, I can just change this. Well, that's that's handy. Okay, so we do have this path here. So this is kind of the little raised area because I don't want to make this habitat too lower down. Uh, so we're going to use this little bit over here. We do, you know, we do lower it down a tad bit here, maybe a little bit more than that. And we still use the grass short because I do want to make this like that first. And then just going to build that like a little bit like so and the rest will be smoothing it out a lot here. Oh, I think we can just use even bigger for smoothing that out. I just want to make sure that this is somewhat uh, nicer, somewhat like that. And then I'm going to bring in also some water if that's possible here. It definitely is, which is wonderful. So we do have this little bit. I want to have like a little separation only so that the animals are not getting there like right off. Uh, the right off this area I, I think this would not be too fitting um, but yeah we're going to also have this like a little bit bended here so just going to try to bend this around here so we have a wonderful little uh, yeah it's almost like a little barrier um, like a fence here in the front but we're just going to make sure that this is all sitting here and then we're just going to finish the habitat off with this uh, wall as well uh, I think it will be enough to have it like in two meter height um, but I'm not like a hundred percent sure so I'm just gonna bring this down here to the end and then we are just going to curl that around here and connect it awesome so that's already it and we're just going to put down yep yeah, the habitat entrance here so this is already the habitat but again it's it's just for the minor uh, little things we're going to build here and for the for the bit here I think this is yeah it's all looking good we will have to put some some more Indian stuff in here, but we will do some some work with blueprints and stuff. Uh, that should be fine. But now, first things I want to do, we're just going to build a little construction around here to make this look at least a little bit more better looking, I guess. So therefore, we are going to use some Indian pieces. Uh, I just want to make sure that we have some some cool looking entrance way. And it's funny though that I do use the in, uh, the Indian pieces again now while I have done the. Uh, 
Indian kind of pieces for the Egypt area in my uh, summer lake. In case you haven't seen that, I released it yesterday. You can check it out um, on my channel. Um, it's it's online, so you can you know watch it right now already. Um, I I think it was really cool. I think I really liked this episode so far. Uh, what from what I can tell, it was very cool. Um, I I love the Egyptian area and I love the idea about it. And yeah, your reactions uh, seem to be very much like that. And I uh, do enjoy your reactions as always. And yeah, I'm just always happy if you guys are happy with the content available. Now let's use this as a little wall piece here. And uh, you know what? Just gonna bring this over, copy it around. Just making sure that we do have a nice little wall piece here. I think I'm just gonna sink this in a little bit more so it's in the ground. Yep. And then I'm not even sure if I need something else in here. What else do we have Indian wise? There are some kind of cool carpets. Is there some wood as well? Like I like these pieces here. Maybe we can have them to the inner side, like a little uh, railing kind of thing. That could look cool, I guess, if it's not going to be too tall. I'm just going to put this down. I don't know. I, I think it might look good. And then we have this big old, uh, yeah, it's yeah, entrance piece. We're going to use this here, but this is for later. Let's just move that over here. This one is also available, but yeah, just, just to have this little nice uh, viewing platform. And I'm not sure what I do with this thing, because that's going to be closer here. I think I want to just enlarge that a lot like so and then can i okay that's too long which uh alia would be proud of that but well she's not here yet so um yeah we don't don't need to look into this one anyways okay so we're just going to bring that one in as a little fence type of thing and then is there anything else we can use from this oh yeah look at that they do, do have this indian fence here which we can potentially use as well to just get some more style in there you go is that like this? Uh, no, it's not. Let's, let's move this right into position. There you go. And now we're just going to use this bit and just copying it over, making sure we are just trying to, you know, make it fit as best as possible so that it doesn't look too weird. Yeah, it, again, it doesn't have to be like super tidy, just as tidy as it goes. I don't want to make this like super long because the next episode, like the very last episode of this franchise will obviously be the tour, uh, but I don't count this as an actual episode. It's like, well, it's it's a tour, you know, even though it's, it's part of the zoo, it's a tour. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to happen. But for now, I'm really happy that we will bring this zoo to an end. And you guys um, will be hopefully very happy about my new idea. You will have to let me know in the comments, obviously, down below. But again, I will talk about this at the very end of today's episode. Uh, which is for a good reason, um, simply because I, I think you guys will be excited. At least I am. I, I think this is something I've I've not seen too many people do at at all, um, and it's I can already give away that this will be some kind of an of a challenge mode, if you will. We we definitely will play the hard mode. Um, this is also another thing I, I wanted to mention quickly, so that at least there is some kind of challenge in terms of management for us. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be very exciting. It's gonna be very cool. I really hope that you guys are as excited as I am once once I've revealed this to you. Look at that, that looks kind of cool. It looks kind of smooth. Um, I think we are just going to use also these kind of things as planters later on, just like uh, making sure that the Indian area looks a bit more Indian by default. Uh, let's move that a little bit more in. And again, not making it look too cool. Also, um, the next franchise mode, Season 4, will also still include your work. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of a different approach this time, but uh, just a tiny bit of a change of things, uh, which hopefully makes it a bit more easy for you to support me and to bring some stuff in. So that would be that would be actually cool uh, because I am... Yeah, I'm always I'm always trying to improve the experience for you guys as well. Like I obviously enjoy playing this game a lot and I'm also enjoying playing a lot of other games, but for me personally, I enjoy doing YouTube at this point in time. I got to say it the way it is. I enjoy doing YouTube and a crucial part of YouTube is the uh, satisfaction of the viewers of a channel and the community itself. And I feel we can do way better. We can we can improve a lot. Like we can really manage to make even more um, interactivity 
uh, being a part of it all and I need your help obviously to make sure that this works so I definitely need always your feedback you need always to tell me what you think I could improve you know it can also be like simple things like m improving of music or if you see there's a description wrong um, and I'm quite happy that people do point it out you know I never do this like intentionally I don't make mistakes intentionally or whatnot but since this is still my hobby sometimes honestly I don't really have that much time to prepare stuff so um, if I for example prepare a video at the evening and then just schedule that for the next day and it's uploaded while I'm still at work which does happen occasionally and well actually Actually, it happens more often than you would think um, because the episodes mostly goes live at around 6 um, p.m. Central European time and I you know I'm mostly still at work because my official work time goes exactly till 6 and since it's all scheduled I don't have the time um, to look into it uh, at this point in time so maybe it takes like two or three hours until I'm at home and so I you know I'm just replying through my app here and there you know between the lines and stuff um, which, which works, but um, I, I cannot look really into the editing of it or uh, comments like uh, about the description itself. This is kind of stuff I can't really do uh, simply because I don't have the time to it uh, to do it. And then it really helps if you guys point this out because then I can, you know, do it later, which always helps really a lot, like really a lot. Um, and so, yeah, keep on doing this, but don't be mad at me if I don't change it at the very beginning. Because again, that, that's how life goes, you know, there's just so much control I have. Okay, I'm quite happy with how this turned out so far, like with this this wall over here. Um, we still have this piece which I which I wanted to use uh, as like an entrance gate here. So just kind of make it that way. I wonder if we can like make it like a two-ish, is that working better? I think that would work a lot better to make like some solid pillars down here, like uh, this thing looks already fairly good to me so I just pull that down here in the middle and then we can all yeah that's cool because we're also closing off that little gap here so just also using it on this side makes already this look a lot better and then we can just yeah why not just use it that way and there you go have this wonderful entrance gate I wonder though how is this this does fit potentially in the middle like a little wooden piece yeah look at that that doesn't even look that bad if we just move that a little bit higher you have this wooden piece in the middle and then kind of a wooden pillar in kind of going from left to right what also sense is that like recallable no it's not really but that one is right i yeah so i can also kind of do this in a, in a brownish tint just wow how did i even rotate this um but -ba boop boop boo there you go angle snappity snap and then we just bring that in here look at that awesome just move it in there you go that looks uh, decent to me and then you know just have some some stuff standing around here i think this really gives this indian area a little bit of a, a theme to it i don't know just making sure that we have some kind of stuff going on uh, we will also use a lot of uh, plants and stuff to make it really look decent enough in a bit um, so just putting some clutter down here should help uh, this is like you know what we can we can just have that in the middle why not I mean it's a blueprint from the game but you know I I feel confident enough that I would be able to build something like that too okay so <laughs> um, I do want to have these kind of things in the habitat as well I guess like a little bit as, as something they could theoretically use as an enrichment where I could stamp on which they will not do, the elephants, but I think that's fine. And we can also put them some chests down, just as if this is something they could play with. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just want to reinforce this kind of Indian theme here a little bit, um, also inside the habitat. Is there anything more we can use? Not like that much, to be honest. I mean, we could use like these things now as some of the planters. So like bring that in here. Is this like creating a, a new building or are we still in the same? No, no, that's actually a new one. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to have this one as a higher planter as well. And then uh, we could just also... I, you know, these things are also like a smaller one. Why not? Uh, we can also use this a little bit differently now. Just to create like a more swooping uh, planter if, if needed. You know, stuff like that works, I guess. And then... I'm like not even sure which kind of piece I could use now as a barrier. Which one is is like ah they're all not having this the, the correct size here. Well that one does work though. 
So we could use this one and then just round that off here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna create like a building out of it and then it should look good. So I'm gonna just put these things down, all of them, and just merge this in here into each other. Awesome. It's gonna create like a building here. There we go, because then I just need to select all of these pieces. Boom, copy, go down, awesome. So we've got that one as well as a planter. And I think this one looks cool if we just use it that way. And then, oh well, these things can basically move if we need them somewhere else. Why not just move them, move them over? There you go. And then let's just uh, move that over to the side and then just kind of copy it. I wanna have them walk in the middle, why not? That would be good. I think that would be good. Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure like how much I can do the terrain in the middle. Let's have a look if that works somehow. That's actually too much already. Um, and I was wondering like, would like flatten to foundation if we can, yeah, no, two meters should be, no, three is too much, two is the key. There you go, if we flatten that to foundation, if that's already, getting too much slope and I guess it's not and we can actually do it that way yeah that, I think that works I'm just gonna do the same here and then just flatten that that's actually a little bit higher than the other one which is which is fine uh, just to make sure that this looks a little bit better you know having some soil in there should make sense and then same goes to these things just making sure that the inner inner kind of soil stuff is a bit high actually on that particular one I want to make it like a lot higher so it almost like gets to the, the to the ring like this and then you can always just go down here and I don't know stuff stuff like that should work and we're just going to do the same here just raise it all up and then build the platform uh, just so if we sink some of the trees in it does look as if the, the soil ground is a little bit higher but since we're going to use like a whole bunch of stuff it hopefully will look better now we can also just paint all this in soil already that's kind of what we need here anyways and then we can use some sand or some other soil to the ground here or even some rock to make that look also kind of nice and yeah just like believable so gonna do some some sort of soil here uh, I think it's getting together already look at that it's it's actually kind of cool I'm wondering if I need to you know I just want to make sure that this is also looking kind of more interesting here so that way and then with these things maybe it looks good if we have them in here I don't know just give it a bit more of an Indian flair I have even no idea if that makes sense at all but well I think it does um, okay let's just pull that over here that should be fine and then we're just raising the whole stuff until there is another platform look at that guys look at that we have another platform and look at that that is good now let's bring that over raise it again build the platform it's actually a bit higher but it's fine you know it's it's sticking out actually it's sticking out a little bit too much to be honest and uh, just making sure it's all a bit more nice and filling that in and also I'm uh, just gonna make sure that this is a tad bit lower same goes to that one there you go is there something too crazy high here yeah the background is so we're just gonna push that slightly back in so that this looks a bit better there you go, a bit more clean. I mean, the background doesn't really net matter that much, but you know, just to have it a little bit more clean, I think I like that. And I, again, yeah, look at that. This looks this looks already fairly decent to me. Now, what we do have to do though, uh, we have to go to habitat and shelters, and let's see if there's anything in Indian. Um, it's not like like not really a theme here, right? Can I filter this by like theme, Indian? Well, there's not that much anyway. It's available. Oh my lord! Look at the my emperor's new grove habitat. I, I <laughs> holy crap! I could build that, which is insane. Um, no, but any, only, honestly, then we just have to go in here and we just say blueprints only, and then we just say filter theme, Indian. I'm gonna have some kind of. Oh my lord! This is all like mine, right? Can I have like in-game blueprints only? That should be here. Prefabs, filter, uh, theme, Indian. Just want to see if there's any kind of building I can, I can redo. That looks fairly good to me. You know what? Let's just put.
put them together with oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa we are that is like a huge temple thing we have over here you know what we do you know what we do we like build this as an yeah you, you know what okay we 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 will we will use some in-game pieces and try to make the best of is that like a shop in here even oh that's actually a shop right um with the shop connection to the front here right it does not really connect does it connect to this side here somehow to the it's like where, where's the shop front oh that's a, that's the shop front. what's that building even that's a research center I, I mean we can exchange that right i mean it doesn't really matter I think I like that to make this like an Indian plaza over here. You just still have to look inside here. That's fine. Um, this is the sculpture we already had. We had the small exhibit. I think I like this village. Is there something in? No, I don't think there is. Um, I do like this uh, to cover this all up a bit better. So I'm going to put this one here. And so as if it belongs to here, you know, just having that kind of a bit more Indian vibe to it and I'm, I'm like i love these things is there any shop in here no it's only the shop fronts so i'm like really thinking like putting like a little city in the background here could look really ace you know just giving this little bit of ah uh, whatever this like are you kidding me like i can we just get rid of the shops quickly please i like i don't i don't mind having them here i mean i i i, I could I could just go in and just make this backside here a little bit more like hello um like make this invisible and then i should be able to place those things as i just had them uh, blueprints blueprints please uh, this is the, like the same building there you go this is like another one um yeah like like this way around is also nice this is the same building again uh can i have that one this has like an interesting roof kind of style just gonna make sure that this doesn't always look the same. That's like the bigger one, which I can still not place. Oh, I can, like here somehow. Um, that looks fairly good to me. There you go, a bit like this. And then I don't even need these small exhibits, but I like, I like the way the buildings work here. So I'm gonna put like another one in the back here. I do need to delete all these buildings, obviously, um, because that just doesn't fit in right here like this. Um, since that one fits so well, I think I'm just gonna move that one over. Um, just to keep this. Actually, can I raise? Yeah, I can raise that a little bit, just to get a little bit more of a city feel. You know, it's kind of a theme in a movie. Um, why didn't I never think about doing it that way? This is kind of kind of cool. <laughs> just like plumping these things down. Look at that. It just kind of gives it a nice little vibe to it. And we will do the rest with um, foliage now. But also it gives this backside area a little bit of a nice uh, touch to it. The only thing we have to kind of make sure is that, well, it is this like flying a little bit? It is, right? We have to just sink that a tiny bit more down. There we go. And then this is the entrance. That's fine. We're just going to get rid of these pillars over here. That is kind of the piece well th this piece can actually stay i really don't know if the elephants can go through here i do have the certain feeling that they cannot oh we have to see okay we will bring them in now in a few seconds and then we will see if they can traverse it um and how much of a shelter it gives them because if it's not enough shelter we're just going to make like a lot of awnings and stuff in front of here so they do have to the shelter there but i guess that should be fine uh we have all this kind of crap going on here um so i think it all over the place looks kind of neat mm, you know what we do before we go on we just uh, put down some of the do we have some indian stuff here we do like i want to have these indian benches even though they sink in a little bit here to the side doesn't really matter i'm gonna put some bins in between and some you know what they just definitely come to this height and then also some kind of other color here. I mean, we can actually change the color, but I think I like it the way it is. I just don't want to spend too much uh, thoughts into this uh, right now. And we also have to put in the donation box, which is that one. I'm just gonna bring those in. And I have like a wonderful viewing opportunity. This is like the best viewing opportunity you can you can even wish for. And now we can also put some, some benches in here. Uh, whatever you know what no 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 uh, we will put this one bench here yeah i don't 
It's 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 kind of a little bit of a joke, right? Um, I will I will say though that um, we could now actually if if we are kind of cool, you know, if we are kind of cool, we can use that one. And just hide this in here, so they will sit somehow on the stones. Even though it's not gonna look like superbly fine, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do this here. I think it looks weird, so I'm not gonna do it at all. Um, but what we're gonna have to do now is to see, I think we might even have like an uh, Indian elephant available. I'm not sure, like we do have some African elephants. No, we don't. Okay, well, let's go for them. Let's go for them. So we've got the Indian, Indian elephant filter. Uh, are you kidding me? Well, that one is good. That one is good. Um, yeah, well, we can just get another one. Um, it's uh, not good in particular, but uh, I will, I will try my best also to get a male one somehow, because we need this. You know, we need this for the zoo. Why is there like no male one available right now? Anyways, okay, let's deliver this to the zoo. Okay. Um, they will definitely, I'm not like sure what exactly kind of ground texture like wise they need, but I will definitely start using some, some sand around here. Um, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be like this. Intensity can be a bit higher though. There you go. There you go. So a bit like sand goes down here to the, the sides. I'm, I'm not sure if they need sand or whatever. Uh, intensity needs to go even higher. Because now with the with the little bit lower down performance, that is definitely a little bit weird. Um, they will definitely use a lot more soil. So I will already prepare this with a lot more soil in between. Also here for the water pond. Uh, not sure how much they will like. I, I, I know that they like a lot more grass and stuff. So maybe it is already good. I don't know. I don't know. We will see now once they are delivered and then, yeah, is there also like a connection? Should, is there like an issue? Not really, right? They could definitely deliver them to over here quite easily, I guess, you know. Um, once we have also the bench, we can also put like another bench here. Uh, you know what I quickly do while we are waiting? We can actually have the research lab here, why not? That's actually fine. So even though, I don't know if this like has too much of a negative impact. No, it's like full theming, so it doesn't really matter at all. But we do have to get delete all the buildings in here because I I think they will just cost us money. And uh, how can I find them better? Like, oh yeah, look at that. This is easier. So I just like, okay, Keeper Hut Large. Wait, did I just actually, no, 95 objects. I, I do not want to have 95. I just want to have this one Keeper Hut. There you go. And then there's like this one one shop in here as well awesome and then i don't know that's the staff room and then we have something else down here swoops there you go facility has no power well it doesn't need any power uh, okay now let's have a look if i think the elephant cannot move through here that would be at least somewhat of a thing okay well i i thought so um, so what we will do now is we're going to change this build real quick and we're just going to delete unfortunately some of these uh, uh, This is such a pity though uh, Okay, we, we're gonna do it that way and now I'm not sure if that's enough to delete those Let's have a look if that is enough Like I'm not sure if this will be enough, but come on do the recalculate. No, they still cannot get out here. Ah, that's such a pity because that means that we are going to destroy somewhat of the wonderful looking arch here. I'm not sure if, if these floating ones are enough, so at least to maintain somewhat of the nice look. Let's have a look what they say now. Uh, I mean, they will be able to get out here, right? Yes, awesome. Okay, that's, that's already better. Um, now, as they do have that, we can finally check on the terrain. I nailed it. I nailed it guys, I nailed it. Okay, plants definitely have to be tropical, grassland, temperate, awesome. Uh, and obviously this should then be Asia, right? Yeah, so just go to biome, grassland, temperate and 
tropical and the continent is Asia. Just gonna have no blueprints, no blueprints at all, please. And now the cool bit about this is that the animals, um, like again, the elephants are quite, uh, yeah, destructive. So I, I want to have also this tree like in the back here, but um, especially these kind of trees here would actually be, um, yeah, destroyed by them. So this makes a lot of sense to put them in smaller planter areas like these. As we do over here um, so that is definitely how you would do it uh, because that's that's where they do not get uh, towards these uh, trees which I think is a is a big advantage you know um, having these kind of things covered in a lot of foliage like we do right now and then oh my lord I didn't, no 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 it's still like a no it's not like a smaller one um, look at these bushes it's gonna have like another here I mean, bamboo is some kind of stuff you can always have in here. I think bamboo is like the the always growing plant, which uh, is always uh, usable and stuff. But I, you know, I just want to make sure that we get this done somewhat more believable and therefore also using it the way I'm using it right now. Just making sure that we have some kind of planter stuff going on here. Uh, even, even some kind of lower level palm trees, some reed goes in here just to make sure that there is some kind of foliage. It doesn't need to be like wonderfully designed but at least some kind of cool greenery in there looks looks like a little bit of a nice planter you know that's uh, again nothing nothing super special just having a bit of an overgrown stuff here so yeah that would basically kind of rip this apart if they would get to it so that's that's the reason why you would always hide this in these planters i think it looks fairly decent looks fairly decent maybe have some some palm trees in here just so we have at least a bit of a tropical, more tropical vibe. Awesome. Okay, and before we finish this, we're just gonna get some of the blueprints. I think that's one of these bigger blueprints we have. Yes. I'm gonna sync this in here to the background. One and another goes here inside that one too. So that is just kind of hidden away. Hidden away, hidden away, hidden away, hidden away now. I'm gonna bring this in here as well. And same goes down here again. Awesome! Look at that. This is this is just looking nuts. This is actually looking a lot of a lot better than I was expecting it to look. Um, even though I think this is a tad bit floating too much. I want to have a bit more like a ground cover going on. There you go. So yeah, that's that's a bit better in the background. So that looks a lot better. So if this kind of Indian area there, and yeah. So what we do do need to do now? They do not have enough. Uh, shelter, but that should be no big deal. Um, we should be actually able to uh, blueprints off, and then we are still in India, which is great. And we're just gonna look at the awnings. I mean, we we could work with the carpets here. Yeah, I think they will work. Um, I'm gonna use that one, and then we're just going to bring this in here. And then it's gonna be like this. And then we just go one. Now, you know what? We can just make that a little bit more hanging. I have got an idea. Well, uh, there needs to be this rope. Yeah, I think it's the African rope, right? Yeah. So I do want to have that one. How is the, how is the, I'm not even sure if that's correctly rotated though, but I want to have that one in as well. Like some kind of piece here and then just bring that one in the middle so as if this is tucked to this piece. It's almost like that. A bit higher. More like this. Is this like really connected? Yeah, awesome. Okay, now I want to make sure that this... Ah, uh, see, that's, that's one of these issues you always have with these things. Just gonna make sure that this is tilted a tad bit more like that. And then we should be able to have this one just connect again. And then we have that one once more tilted. Here we go. And then, you know, we just bring that one over and rotate it back into the position we need it. And then, this is kind of the awning I want to go for. You know, that's gonna provide them 
a whole lot of shelter and since we have the elephants the the carpet style also does a good job and then we're just going to you know, bring that in like this you know they get their shelter here I mean that should be well enough and then we just need some kind of pillars down here and we're just gonna move that one as if this is meant to be like a pillar like this uh, I just want to make sure to uh, yeah see this is again what, what I was just thinking uh, movement wise I'm just gonna put them in like this I don't care too much just make sure that there's also one in the back okay that's that's like it okay that's it now let's go to habitat and then we say Indian elephant and just gonna go to all extra don't stress the Indian too much and we just have the bedding extra large will go down here because that's gonna be all the area where they're in great I'm just gonna get a barrel feeder in the middle here Hey, they will get like the large barrel to play around with. They get this large feeding blah blah thingy here. They get a few more sprinklers there and to the houses in the back. I'm wondering though if we can put like a feeder very close to the houses. Yeah, I want to make them like be really in the back here as well with, and interact with the houses. So that would be fine. And honestly, maybe this is the first time ever we can use the... Ah, they cannot really traverse it, right? Maybe just put that in the middle here, that might look good. Just have some some kind of water feature. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay guys, I think we have like done a really decent job here. So the, the last thing we need to do is to bring down like the uh, education boards here. We're just gonna bring down one and I'm gonna bring down another one here. Which is gonna also Indian elephant look at that and same goes for that one Indian elephant all right we've done it we've done it guys we've done it that's great we just we don't really have a keeper assigned yet to this habitat this is something we just need to quickly do so let's uh, get a keeper in and then the keepers getting oops ah I just need to let him fall down first there you go keeper get the new habitat there uh, it's going to be that area here and uh, this is going to wait I need to bring that building in too and this is the Indian elef el elephant elephant <laughs> there you go um, right awesome so unpause the game and there we go this is it really hope that the elephants can traverse outside now because they just seem to be sitting there like a little bit like so but no, that looks very fine to me they have a very good life they have everything they need they just need some more adults in the group. Yeah, I, 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 like, I, I want to have like a male, you know? Look at that. that are you kidding me? This one is good. This one is good. I'm just not gonna get such an expensive, such an expensive elephant here. Let's gonna move this male -y one in here as well. And then we're good to go. Like, this is it, guys. The zoo is nearly done and well, the zoo is actually done. I'm quite happy with how the Indian area turned out, even though it was like, you know, just putting a little bit less effort in than I usually do. Um, and also talking of that, I need to get rid of this building somehow quickly. Just put this back into my little working zone. And while we are waiting until the mail is delivered, I'm just gonna put this one down here and just bring another one down here. Just making sure that this all looks somewhat more finished a bit overgrown also rotate that and sink it all the way down in here there you go might need to put more trees in there but this almost like looks like a finished zoo guys so look at that there is a keeper going on oh look at that the elephant is outside already we have this wonderful shot here of this area oh yeah it's throwing oh i love that i love that when they do this like the wonderful shot here with the Indian stuff in the back and oh yeah I love it it's so happy doing that it is so happy doing can you do this again for us come on do it again for us with your poop that's fine you can you can still achieve that with your poop I'm fairly I'm fairly certain you can come on do it again for us there you go oh lovely I just love that animation it is so cool like how they're just doing that and just look so happy with it 
They just look so super happy. And there you go, that was the day. <laughs> we had some cool lighting going on here with the building. They did some kind of a good job here doing that. But yeah, guys, that's been it. That was the last building episode of this zoo. I'm quite happy that the performance is somewhat back now. It's running some 30 FPS, so the tour should be fine. Um, but uh, for whatever I can say, this uh, was a blast, this whole series, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it as for building. Look at how cramped the zoo is, though. It's insane. Um, we will do a tour this week. And then um, I will somehow try to release the zoo also to the workshop if this is somehow possible. And also I will release some of the buildings if it's possible somehow. But for now, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one, in the tour, and also in the next kind of episodes. And now it's the moment to tell you what the next project is. And the next project will be a tiny zoo. Now the idea is to make a tiny city zoo franchise and a very European moderate um, environment and it's gonna be very much space efficient. This time we went for efficiency in general but next time we will walk in and try to go even further making it super narrow, super t tight and trying to go for the classical very crampy city zoo approach which um, hopefully is going to be very exciting and I hope you guys are as excited for it as I am. Um, but for now, that's my episode and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the approach of a city zoo and did you enjoy this whole series. Let me know what was your favorite habitat, what was your favorite episode so far and I'm going to talk to you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.